On a spring day in April 2019, 26-year-old Prisma Reyes vanished. I just don't see how, and I've said it before, how somebody can just disappear like smoke in the wind. She comes over here, she's on the phone. These are the last images of her. Her stepfather says just before she disappeared, she was calling a bunch of people she knew. She was confused. She didn't know where she was. She didn't know what was going on. She thought she was talking to one person, but she was actually talking to somebody else. Mesquite Police Detective Dustin Barrett has been on the case since the beginning when they got a 911 call from Prisma's babysitter saying she hadn't picked up her little boy. That triggered a missing persons report. So the first video we have of her is here at the E-Bar. Detective Barrett walks she, us through the videos uh, from that day she disappeared here. in Dallas. Nothing too terribly unusual. She is on a lunch break from her job at a car dealership in Mesquite and having lunch with her ex-boyfriend. We have them on camera during that. He leaves, she goes back inside the E-Bar. Prisma stayed for another three hours until the bartender refused to serve her any more drinks and she was upset. Have her leaving the E-Bar. Prisma got into her white Jeep and phone records track her initially heading back to Mesquite, but then turning around and going back to Dallas. According to a Dallas police report, three witnesses say a woman in a white Jeep pointed a gun at them. They call police. The next video shows Prisma arriving at the Olympus on Ross Apartments. She parks right there. It looks like an alleyway, Yeah. but it is a street and she's blocking it. Where her ex-boyfriend that she was having lunch with lives. So she runs through the gate and then she goes to stand by the elevator. This is where she calls a bunch of people. We spoke to everybody on her phone records list that she called leading up to her disappearance. All of them tell us that she sounds upset. The next videos are new. Police had never released them until now. There's a camera on this side pointing down this ramp, but she walks underneath it. It is hard to see, but you can tell it's Prisma in her red shirt back in the garage. She kind of stumbles out of view of the cameras. Nothing else is captured, and then she just disappears off the face of the earth. Yes. The closure we don't have is we don't have anything. She walked in and just vaporized and disappeared. We don't have any other clues or nothing. Dallas police found her white Jeep right where she left it parked. Inside was the gun she displayed in the road rage. So she was obviously in that much of a hurry to where she jumped out and didn't grab it. Dan Fuchs says Prisma bought the gun for protection. She had felt like she had been being followed, like she was being stalked. Police say they have ruled out everyone she talked to that day as suspects, including her ex-boyfriend. She has never used her phone or debit cards after that day. So what do they think happened? It could be human trafficking. She stumbled and met the wrong person. When you leave that complex, if she walks a couple of blocks in either direction, she could have ended up in an area where it wasn't the safest for her. While her case has made national headlines and police have exhaustively searched for her, there are no new leads or clues. Independent forensic analysts are going through all the videos again to see if they missed something. I was surprised at the lack of camera footage. Come on. Yeah, yeah, I know you're hungry. Hoping for that one lead, that one tip that will help him find her. Come on, get around front. In my heart, until it's proven to me differently, without a doubt, I feel that she's still here. Yeah. He wants people to remember Prisma like this, the National Guard soldier who loved her son and would do anything for him. Y'all enjoy. That boy, he needs to know where his mother is or what happened to his mother. He's the one that deserves all the answers. In Mesquite, I'm Rebecca Lopez.